Oh, oh, we greet you in the name of the Father, Son, and the precious Holy Ghost on tonight from First Crown Ministry, Benson, North Carolina. We are glad to be in here one more day. The day sometimes we're like, oh, Lord, seem to be a whole lot of different things and we carry a whole lot of different things. But in this day, in this season, in this time, in this hour, God is doing a new thing. He said, behold, I do a new thing. And the thing about that is sometimes when you go through transition, you don't feel like there's a new thing in the atmosphere. Oh, Lord, help us right there. So, Father God, we just give you glory on tonight, God. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We lift you high above our circumstances, our situations, because you're God. You are holy. You are just. You are righteous. You are our King of kings and our Lord of lords. And, Father, this one thing we do understand on today, we understand that we are under your control and your command. We understand, God, that when we hear your voice, we are obedient. God, and we're going to obey and follow. We thank you, God, for even strengthening us even now, Father, for the things that we go and endure and the trials that we have to take and be take of. Father, that they don't overtake our mind, our thoughts, our will, and our ways, Father, but we put our trust in you, the one who keeps our soul, the one who keeps us from falling, and we thank you in advance, oh God, for what you're doing by your spirit. We know our flesh is weak, God, but the spirit of our of us is willing god to walk in and pursue everything that you have assigned to our hands so we bless you on this night and we say thank you lord thank you for life thank you for help thank you for strength thank you for your will being made known and manifest in us and through us, God. And Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you cover us and you keep us, Father. We know that you keep Israel and we know that you keep us, the adopted ones, into your kingdom. We thank you now, God, let thy will be done and let thy kingdom come on this earth as it is in heaven. We bless you, Father, and we glorify your name for all the things you're doing and all the things you have done. We thank you, God, for settling issues, uh, causing minds to be, God, in a peace and not in chaos, and causing us to come into unity to what you're speaking in the earth by your spirit, Lord. So, Spirit of the living God, we ask, God, that you fall afresh on us even on this night. We need you, God. We need your refreshing. We need your love. We need your tenacity of mercy. We need your guidance, Lord. We need your truth. We need to know which way to go, Father. We erase everything that we thought we knew, God, so that we can come into the, the, the fullness of what you're releasing in the now. For we thank you, Father. Not only now faith is, but now we shall obey, but now we shall do great and mighty exploits uh, according to what you release and assign to our hands, Lord. We Thank you, Father, for even the word on tonight that you go before us, God, and make everything plain, Father, that even the smallest child will understand. Touch us uh, and humble us and deal with us in such a way, God, that it calls your anointing, God, to come up uh, over us. Hallelujah. Overtake us and we will walk and turn into another man uh, that we shall walk and obey those things that you have called us to do for this season, Lord. Uh, let our will come into your will, oh God. Uh, hallelujah we bless your name father hallelujah for this thing that you are doing by your spirit lord hallelujah we pray god the spirit of the living god that you follow fresh on us uh, for this season so we can endure god uh, not only the good times but god most definitely the bad times uh, not only the fat times, but god most definitely the lean times uh, and we thank you for your anointing your power your grace god uh, to endure god as good soldiers uh, father we give you glory honor and praise in jesus name we do pray hallelujah thank you jesus and amen god have your way in our life on today move by your power on today oh god it's something about coming into the presence of god you can walk in have this heaviness or your mind be in ten thousand different places but when you come into god's presence hallelujah you begin to think about the goodness of god and all those things that were weighing on you god it shifts up off of you and sometimes we gotta be in a place that we gotta know that god is just shifting some things in our life today i don't even know which way to go because because I heard the Lord say this to me. Hallelujah. He said he's calling a new 
order to come. And this new order is going to cause us to shift in this season. So let me just read this. Uh, Psalms 37 and 23 says, The steps of a man are established. The, the, some versions say, ordered by the Lord when he delights his way and the Lord is looking for us that no matter the situation, no matter the occurrence, no matter what come up, hallelujah, that you have to deal and process with the things in the natural that's fine, but you're going to have to learn how to submit it to the will of the Lord. And sometimes it's just like this, uh, hallelujah, you might have to say, Lord, I don't understand, Lord, I don't know why, but Lord, let your will be done on this earth and I'm going to be okay uh, because one thing he did this, uh, you know, Jeremiah, hallelujah, 29 and I think it's 11. Glory to God, say, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, that means plan to do you good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope, and some versions say to give you an expected end. There is an end to everything that you are going to through and an end to everything that God has established in the earth. When you put your situation up to the word of God and know that God is going to work this thing out for his good, that he can get the glory out of your life, sometimes it'll cause you, glory to God, to look at it as a situation in a different eye hallelujah i thank the lord on today glory to god how he does things because he's just that good to us hallelujah he said he'll take one up and he'll bring one down glory to god hallelujah he'll sit a, he'll shift a situation hallelujah in just a matter of time and it's just like this sometimes he says suddenly sometimes he say immediately and sometimes he say i'm gonna do it overnight sometimes he say in the day when the day breaks sometimes uh, hallelujah and you gotta know what season you're in uh, we always talk about the sons of Issachar because they knew the season and the time, glory to God. But God is letting us know uh, that you are a son uh, and a daughter in the kingdom of God. Uh, and you got to go back to the Father in your prayer time and your personal time and say, Lord, woo, Lord, uh, let me know what season I'm in so that I'm not fighting uh, when I should be worshiping. Uh, I'm not worshiping uh, when I should be decreeing, declaring, uh, and speaking those things that are not as though they already are. Sometimes you got to be in a good old situation. Uh, hallelujah, that God will allow to happen in your life, uh, that you can look at that situation and tell that situation in your authority in Christ, hallelujah, that this is the farthest you're going to go and no more, hallelujah, that you call that thing to back up in the name of Jesus. Uh, see, we got to realize this, that we are spiritual beings, glory to God, and God is letting us know who we are in our identity, uh, hallelujah, we know we in the natural, but it's still a super on my natural that causes me to triumph over everything that the enemy throws my way, glory to God, you might hit me, uh, and you might knock the breath out of me, but glory to God, I know this one thing for sure, I will not stay down, uh, why, because greater is he that is in me uh, than he that is in the earth, uh, greater is he uh, the Holy Spirit is greater God is greater Jesus is greater and I have examples to go back and look and say God said this uh, and I'm going to stand on the benefactors and the promises of God uh, that he has already released in the earth uh, sometimes you got to open up your mouth and decree and declare that this thing is not unto death uh, it's a trial or a situation that I must go through, glory to God. But guess what? I, I'm going to go through this. I, it's something about when you go through, there's a power, there's a wisdom, there's an understanding, there's a knowledge, uh, there's a glory going to God that will be released over your life. And in the go through times, you don't feel that. Uh, you sometimes feel the stress and the strain and you're trying to figure out and work it out. Uh, but when you get into a place and after you finish your natural go through, uh, flip your taps and say, God, uh, it's on now. We got to realize that we are in a spiritual fight. Uh, hallelujah. Don't forget you are a soldier, a pilgrim in this thing here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't scare my own self. Glory to God. So God said this. He said it's a new order and he's rem removing uh, some things that are unnecessary in this season. 
Oh, Lord, I said, God, I'm going to give you glory and praise right there. Because uh, some things, Lord, to God, we allow to happen or come into our life uh, by the things that we open the doors up to. Uh, then there's some things that happen in our life that we didn't even know where it came from, why it came from, who it came from. Irrelevant. Uh, the fact of it is that God is still in control. Uh, nothing caught him off guard. Uh, it catches us off guard, but we need a moment, glory to God is set back. Uh, one thing God told me the other day, he said, I need you to come up uh, and sit in my presence. Uh, and literally for me, it's like walking upstairs up uh, hallelujah, get into a quiet place uh, and let God begin to reveal to me, let God begin to speak to me. Uh, the things glory to God that I had in my mind that I couldn't figure out uh, when I got into a place in his presence, uh, hallelujah, he began to reveal the strategies and the things that I am to do. Uh, sometimes they was good and I was like, yeah, God, that's good. I like that. Uh, but then there's other things that he told me that I was like, oh, Lord, that's going to take me an adjustment too. Uh, but I understand even now and as the old folks used to say bye and bye hallelujah as you live a little while longer you're gonna see some things you're gonna endure some things glory to god but guess what that's just momentum that's god releasing his glory and anointing to let you know uh, whatever state you find yourself in that's not your final destination mm -mm 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 -mm. thank you father hallelujah the concept is this unnecessary things have been or is they're about to be moved and you got to get uh the glad glads as we used to say in the, in the back in the day about what god is releasing in the new hallelujah unnecessary things uh, hallelujah so this is what the lord began to do and i told you, you now i love the way he do hallelujah he began to bring me into he said i need you to get some things in order hallelujah because some things been out of order and sometimes glory to god you know we act like you know everything is together and it is to the degree but then there's some things when god is calling you to a higher place but in, in a depth in him he will say look you've been good over here but now it's time to deal with some situations it's time to deal with some emotional situations it's time to deal with some financial situations it's time to deal with some mental situations he said i need you to go in and to clean up all of this uh, hallelujah and you know what they said one little piece of trash uh, if you keep on throwing it end up being a great big pile of trash uh, and so what i realized that i had a whole lot of trash stacked up uh, and the lord was saying this is the season that he need us to prepare and clean it up uh, i don't know what your trash is mine was literally paper hallelujah bills and mails and this that and the other that i had let collect i ain't got time to put it over to the Side. I ain't got time for that. Put it over to the side. Put it in a bag. The bag ended up being a box. The box ended up being a bigger box. Oh, God. He was like, nah, I need you to come in and clean all that up. Why? Because clutter was causing my mind to be cluttered. He causing you to be focused and having a direction of the things that he wants you to have a direction of. But when you keep on picking up little bit of stuff and making a monument out of it, when you're supposed to destroy the paper, hallelujah, my husband be on me all the time. Shred it up. I ain't got time to shred no paper that take too much time you shred it somebody else shred it call the shredder call anybody but in the spirit is like this uh, you got to get rid of some things that not is not necessary for your next season glory to god uh, it's some things that you can't carry into your next season that's the reason why the lord said to me he said it's a time for organization uh, to come in your life glory to god uh, and it wasn't that it was real bad but it was bad enough that the lord hallelujah said look it's time for order to come uh, hallelujah and i thank him because i told you he always moved in such a way that he revealed himself unto me hallelujah to give me the next word the next season next thing uh, to let me know hey you good over here but over there baby you got some stuff to clean up uh, hallelujah and so to be cluttered in your mind uh, and to be cluttered in your ways and be cluttered in your thinking uh, you might have to take one room at a time and literally this month this year be 
beginning off. It, it has nothing to do with people called a new year. It has something to do with another season ooh, that the Lord has allowed us to walk into. And in this next season, glory to God, you got to know what to do. You got to know how to handle it. You got to know, hallelujah, is this time for war or is time for worship? Uh, you got to know what it is that he's calling you to do. Uh, is he calling you to pull in uh, or he's calling you whatever it is. Uh, it, it's an individual thing and yet as, as you mature and grow individually, he's calling you to be able to affect the body of Christ that's around you. Uh, but if there is no growth, if there is no maturity, if there is no change in you, uh, you might as well settle and accept the same thing that you already have been accepting, glory to God. But if you decide that there is a time for change, then you got to do a little something a little different. Uh, and I promise you this, uh, when you come into your time of prayer, when you come into your time of consecration, the Lord will speak what the direction is for your life. Hallelujah. We we do this. We point our finger over kill. We point our finger over there. And we point our finger at them and say, Lord, it's them, it's them, it's them, it's them, it's them. But God is saying, now turn that thing in the inside. What about you? Uh, hallelujah. You can cry out for a dying nation uh, and die and go to hell yourself. Uh, not so. Uh, so in this season, I said, Lord, I made up my mind. Come hell or high water, as they say. Uh, I'm going to serve you with all I got, hallelujah, and with all that, that's within me, God, I, I'm going to honor and bless your name, uh, but not only do I do that in my prayer time, uh, in my worship time, in my study time, uh, but every area of my life got to go up to another level. It's time to go up, uh, hallelujah, and so it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit, so it is in the spirit, so shall let it be in the natural, but first you got to have an eye to see, glory to God. God, it changes in the atmosphere and change is a promise that God has given unto us. Hallelujah. He said this about an order. Glory to God about changing things and classifying things. He said this, he said, in other words, you, you got to move the old weeds and you got to move the old briars and you got to move the old thorns. Not nobody else's shortcomings, not nobody else's fault, but you got to use your own. It was a situation that happened a, a couple of days ago. And I was like, Lord, I'm, I'm, I feel a certain kind of way about this thing. And the Lord was like, no, I'm going to teach you a lesson in all of this. He said, I'm going to teach you how to take Take it and don't come out smelling like smoke uh, or don't come out with no offense on your back uh, or come out, glory to God, with your hands raised up, uh, realizing I brought you to that to show you you. Uh, and now that I've shown you you, uh, what you going to do? Uh, it's a choice and a decision that we have to make and we're going to live for Christ Hallelujah, all the way or we not. It's no red line. It's no white line. Lord, forgive us for the lies, for the deceit, for the manipulation. Hallelujah, we have done as individuals and God help us to walk up right before you that we be able to please you. Hallelujah. So he said, look, remove all this stuff out your life. Hallelujah. He said, if you're going to fear something, fear me. Nobody can take your life, glory to God to the point of that you don't have a choice to do. It's your decision of what you're going to do. Nobody can make up in your mind that you're going to live for Christ or you're going to nobody going to make up in your mind that you're going to let it go. See, holding on to things of the past cause you to be stuck in the past. But letting go and releasing things of the past, you are able to receive what God has in store for you. Hallelujah. And I'm in a place that I'm like, Lord, whatever you have in store, that's what I want to receive and that's what I want to do. He said this, and I'm going to be done, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. One, he's doing some reestablishing. <laughs> he said establishing, it means to establish again or anew. He means a fresh thing. The new for you, hallelujah, may be letting go of the old. Hallelujah. And sometimes we get so hooked up on the way things was. When a shift comes, we don't know how to accept where things is. And God has said, I'm going to reestablish some things in you. I'm going to reestablish that you don't have no pre-made-up uh, mind, preconception of what 
and how things are going to be because he said i'm a real strategist in other words what was working before ain't gonna work this time let's just say it that way okay then the second thing, and I'm almost done, I promise you, is redirect. Uh, redirect simply means the act of assigning or directing something in a new or different place for his purposes. <laughs> Hallelujah. We got to be in a place that we ask God, redirect me, Lord, that I be not stuck or stagnated in a place that you have called me for from that I can operate in a place where you will call me to. There's one thing for the glory of God, hallelujah, to be where you where was, but we want to be where he is. Hallelujah. And there's a difference, glory to God, what was and what is and what is to come. I want to be in a place that God began to reveal to me what is to come. Woo, Lord, that speak of another level and another in-depthness, another consecrated time of his word and being in time and being in place and being positioned, hallelujah, to receive what heaven is releasing in the earth. Hallelujah. It's good to hear your friends and they can be very supportive. They can get you out of a but, but their words, uh, Hollywood, just be like whatever, whatever in that place. Uh, but when the Lord tells you something uh, and you know if you have a word from the Lord, you will stand on that word. Hallelujah. I believe the word of the Lord. It might be dark. It might be late uh, in the evening, as they say. And it looked like, uh, hallelujah, that you're not going to get a breakthrough. But I will stand on the word of God until I see change happen. Because guess what? I don't see no come through for me too many times the doubt and woo lord then the third thing he said he said i'm resettling some things uh, some things haven't been settled in our mind uh, some things haven't been resettled in our heart uh, some things haven't been settled in our spirit but the lord said he gonna settle them things uh, hallelujah he said sell it he said i looked it up he said the dictionary said set again <laughs> or or different adjusting or fixing something in a new or a different way in other words it's time for a whole new reset it's time for a whole new change and the thing about that is you got to be willing to let go of what was to receive what is god is reestablishing he redirecting and he resettling some things Set it straight this time because you know what? Sometimes we've been a little warped. We've been a little tipped to the side on this issue and on that issue. We put our own personal things in. We don't done what we want to do. We ain't consulted him. And now when we get into a situation, we're like, Lord, what you going to do? He said, I'm reselling this thing. I'm going to take what was cricket, what was warped and put it upright. I don't told you and we know that we live in an upside down kingdom. So the ways of the world and the ways of the spirit are two different things. So what you would think would be one way, God will shift that thing and make it into another way. Way. hallelujah and thank god for his shift and thank god hallelujah that whatever state he found us in he never leave us in the same state thank god hallelujah and if you think back of some things that you used to do that you no longer do you ought to be thankful that god got you out when he did so we talked about this, well, we all did an idea, about the restraining order. Restraining is what some of us been in, a pure T strength, where the dictionary said it's preliminary legal order terms is used for a situation unchanging or pending decision in, a, in an application for an injunction. A legal order issue against an individual to restrict or prohibit access or proximity to another specified individual so the lord when he said he reselling what has been restricted what what you couldn't get into what you could what, what it seemed like you won't bend always oh, bending hallelujah and sometimes that thing look darker before it looks brighter but in the darkness of this season you better know that there is a light and it shines bright glory to god hallelujah in that light is the light of the lord and everything that he has spoken over your household over your children over your finances over your business over your body hallelujah it 
it shall come to pass. And you got to remember that if you don't remember anything else, but it shall come. And see, sometimes it's in our speaking, it's in our language, it's in our talk, it's in what we uh, uh, horn on, what we put our mind on. And when you feel your mind is being in that negative place and doom and gloom, you better open up that word of God and get them scriptures out. Hallelujah. And apply the word of God to your life. It'll take you out. And look, sometimes you're like, Lord, I repeated this a thousand times. Ain't nothing going, ain't nothing change. Don't put it out in the atmosphere because ain't nothing change going to be your portion. You got to speak it. Stand on it, keep them lips closed, and believe God that there is change in the atmosphere, and there is change. The spirit of the living God, you never know which way he going to move. Hallelujah. It's just like the wind. You don't know which way it's going to blow. Glory to God. Now, you can feel it on your left cheek or on your right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's an indicator to you, hallelujah, the, the, the way the wind is blowing. Glory to God. But God is going to blow in every situation of your life if you will avail yourself uh, and if you will move your hand out the way sometimes you got to move your hand your heart and your mind out the way that you can receive what he has released over your life it's some injustices yes there is but i know a justifier i know who justifies uh, hallelujah my situation ain't looking in the negative part uh, but i'm learning how to look at a negative and see a positive why because a way keeps put down on the inside of us uh, hallelujah it's always going to lead us and guide us into our truth it's, it's always going always to show us what direction we are supposed to go it's always going to cause us to triumph over every situation and even if the situation don't change immediately guess what change uh, your point change your view change uh, you shift your setting of your mind and your heart uh, sometimes the Lord like I'm going to see if you're going to be in I'm going to see if you're going to move uh, sometimes he need us to move glory to God uh, because he don't need us to to look through our lens. He need to look through uh, the Holy Spirit lens. Uh, Lord, what is you saying? Lord, what is you showing? Lord, touch my eyes, oh God, uh, that I can see what you have released in my life, Lord. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus this day, God, that you, Father, fall afresh on us uh, and every scale of our eye that does not line up to your word, God, snatch it down, pull it down, uh, just like you told the man of God, uh, send the servant back out again and ask him, what do he see? He said, I see a whole host, Lord. Uh, Father, let us see the whole host that's for us uh, and not those that we think that are against us, uh, whether it be people, let it be a situation. God. We pray in the name of Jesus God uh, that you give us the God kind of faith that can look in a situation uh, and call those things are not as though they already are. We thank you Father for what you're doing by your spirit on this day. Uh, Father we thank you God in every situation Lord everything God uh, whether we spoke it out God forgive us for saying things and doing things and lying about situations uh, that we wasn't even supposed to be into God uh, but we thank you God for your grace your mercy that kill, deliver us and keep us, God, uh, and always calls up to come out from where we are into your presence, uh, into a place of promise, Father. We thank you now, God, for what you're doing by your spirit. Uh, and so, Spirit of the living God, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah, because we realize, God, that it could have been the other way, Lord. And we realize, God, that you are in control. And so we submit our spirit to thy spirit, Father, and asking God in the name of Jesus to let your will be done on this earth and in this earth, in our bodies, God, in our minds and our spirit. Let us settle some things, oh God. Let us reckon some things dead, God, that we may live. Let us do the things that you have called us to do, God, so we can come up and to a place uh, not only in your kingdom but in the earth God uh, that when men and women look on us they'll know that we've been in the presence of God why because our love for one another hallelujah let the spirit of excellence God fall on us uh, that every spirit of procrastination be broken off our life in the name of Jesus uh, every spirit of worry doubt frustration be broken why because we exchange it for your goodness and your grace and your mercy we exchange it God for your love 
God. We exchange it, God, for your will. We exchange it, God, for your way to be made known unto us uh, and be made manifest, God, uh, that we can walk in and do those things that you have already called and assigned us to do. Uh, Spirit of the living God, we thank you on today for your freshness. Uh, we thank you on the day for your wholeness. Uh, we cover our family, Lord. Uh, we cover our friends. Uh, we even cover our enemies, oh God. Uh, hallelujah. We pray for their shield of protection, their mind, their wholeness, uh, and their well-being, God. Uh, we pray, God, that you prosper them uh, in every area of their life to do good and not to do evil. Uh, hallelujah. Cause their feet, God, uh, to run to righteousness uh, for righteousness sake, oh God. Uh, creating us a clean heart, Lord, and renew a right spirit down within us, oh God, uh, that we can see the things that you have already planned, God. Because uh, when our vision is warped, God, uh, we can't see you in your fullness. We just see our situation, Lord. We submit it unto you, God, on this day, and we ask you, God, to redirect it and to settle it, God. Uh, hallelujah in us, God, and through us and uh, by us, oh God. Hallelujah that we will know that we know that we know uh, that you're going to work this thing out, God, for our good, that you can get the glory, Father. And we understand that the tests and the trials and the things that we must endure in this season is a light affliction, and it will not be compared to what be released, the anointing and the glory of God upon our life. Uh, so we thank you for your anointing. Uh, we thank you for your anointing to endure, and we thank you, God, uh, for your grace. Uh, and we thank you for your mercy, Father. Mm to endure. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strength, oh God, uh, to endure, Father. Let us do it like a good old soldier, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Let your sheep hear your voice, God, uh, and another voice we will not follow. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that your will be done on this earth. Hallelujah. In us, God. Hallelujah. Like never before, we thank you for ordering our footsteps, Lord, for we know that the footsteps of a righteous man or a woman are ordered by you. And we thank you, God, for what you have ordered and what you have released in this place, in this hour, in this season, through and by your Holy Spirit for us, God. Let your will be done in this earth, oh God. That's our petition. That's our prayer. That's our expectation, Lord, for you to do great and wonders things, uh, signs, mirrors, miracles, and wonders. Let them follow us, God, because we believe, Lord God, that you working it out for our good. We believe, God, that you have our best interest at heart. We believe, God, that you have called us and chose us for such a time as this. And for that, God, we're going to continue to lift your name. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, put you above every situation. We're going to continue, oh God, hallelujah, to bless you and to honor honor you. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that our prayer and our worship and our praise come up to you as a sweet smelling Savior, oh God, that you be pleased with the things that we do, Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank you for the great exchange, oh God, on this day. Hallelujah. God, do a work down in us, Lord God. Go deep, oh God. And Father, wash us and purge us, Lord, that we shall come forth as pure gold that we will not miss the mark in this season, God, but we're going to hit the mark, God, and we're going to move forward, and we're going to give you glory and bless your name because we're going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And for this, Lord, we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. We love you. And God bless you. Good night.